after gaining secure rights to their land. Beata began practicing conservation agriculture and growing vegetables for her children. Concilia bought fertilizer, boosted her maize production, and built a granary. Using his land as collateral for a loan, Fabian invested in his carpentry business and his land. He planted grass to control soil erosion and to feed his animals. Jean's land title helped him get electricity and a health insurance card. These farmers in Musanze, Rwanda, all benefited from what became a nationwide land titling program, giving smallholder farmers clear rights to their land. Secure rights often provided farmers with both the incentive and ability to make long-term investments in their farms. With secure rights, farmers can use their land as collateral to acquire bank loans, enabling them to invest in their farms. In Musanze, many farmers began regularly producing and selling surpluses for the first time in their lives. Like the women and men of Musanze, Nearly half a billion rural people in sub-Saharan Africa depend on their families' farms for their food, livelihoods and welfare. To grow more food, increase incomes and transform these subsistence farms into viable businesses, they too need secure rights to their most important asset, land. But unlike Beata and her neighbors, most smallholder farmers in Africa, particularly women, lack secure land rights. Most rural land is held under arrangements based on custom and are often undocumented. As global competition for productive land increases, these customary rights are frequently disregarded leading to the loss of farmers' land to both foreign and domestic investors. At the same time, many African governments and civil society are working to strengthen rural people's land rights. In Uganda, the new national land policy seeks to limit the authority of the government to expropriate land unless it genuinely serves the public interest. In Ghana, the government and development partners are attempting to document customary rules governing land, map customary land, and strengthen formal and traditional land administration. Secure land rights can come in many forms, including long-term use rights and private ownership. But whatever their form, secure land rights lie at the heart of success for Africa's small holder farmers. La miso, la miso, la 